This is Karen. Hi, everybody. This is Shane. Today we're looking at part two of our surprisingly radioactive world, and the vocabulary、What? words are enormous. Enormous. The Watsons live in an enormous house. So rich.、Mm -hmm. Exit. Exit. If there's an emergency, please use this exit. Okay, got it. Application. Application. Medicine is only one application of this plant. Employ. Employ. Oliver employs several methods to help the plants in his garden grow. Harmful. Harmful. Smoking is very harmful to your body. Bad. Don't do it. <laughs> That's right. So we're still talking about radiation, right? Yes. And last time we mentioned how you know small dosage of you know certain radiation is actually not that harmful. Yeah, because radiation is kind of a wide term to just kind of mean mean energy that is released from things.、Hmm. So for example, yes, fruits like bananas. Bananas have small amounts of radiation. Bananas have radiation. Yes. So、wow. some people might get very scared and think, "I'm never going to eat bananas again."、Mm. But it's just a part of being a human. We're just exposed to these things. You'd have to eat five hundred thousand bananas、mm -hmm. in order to get radiation poisoning. poisoning. Oh. So okay. that's the point. Radiation has to be high enough to actually. Poison the body. Large amount, right?、Yeah. So if you're exposed to large amount, that's when you will have a problem. And radiation has actually been quite beneficial to medicine. Right. I know. For example, sometimes you want to go to the doctor to check your bone, and then you can use the X-ray machine, right?、Yeah, X-ray machine might even be able to find some growth, like cancer or something,、right. and detect it in the early stages and save lives. So there are some benefits, right, to radiation、yes. too. There's pros and cons to and everything. To everything.、That's、okay.、Right. Okay. Let's learn more about radiation. Enjoy. Enjoy. Our surprisingly radioactive world. One common source of radiation is the food we eat, particularly anything that contains the radioactive element potassium. This includes everyday things such as bananas, carrots, and potatoes. If you're now thinking of avoiding these foods, then you can rest easy. To see any negative effects, you would have to consume an enormous amount. Take bananas, for example. You would experience radiation poisoning only after eating 500,000 of them. Today's lesson is called "Our Surprisingly Radioactive World, Part Two." Hello, everyone. My name is Jeff, and I'm Mike. And yes, we're learning about radiation. Of course, radiation can be scary. Radio,、uh, nuclear accidents can release radiation, and that's bad for us. And of course, we've learned from comic books that radiation can also do crazy things. But in the real world, in real life, radiation is everywhere around us, and in fact, most of it really won't hurt us at all. There you go. Radiation, for the most part, is around us on a daily basis, and it does not kill us or make us sick. It's around us. Get used to it. And learn to love it. Even, anyways, one common source of radiation is the food we eat, particularly anything that contains the radioactive element potassium. 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 Bananas. Bananas are chock full of potassium. Really? Yep, that's what it says. This includes everyday things such as bananas, carrots, and potatoes. Wow, I didn't know there was potassium in those things, and I didn't know that potassium is radioactive. But here's the good news: don't throw away your banana, carrot, potato salad right now. If you're now thinking of avoiding these foods, then you can rest easy. But you might want to avoid a banana, carrot, potato salad. That yeah, that just, wouldn't be good. That sounds worse than a radioactive disaster.、Yeah. Oh my gosh! Disgusting. No, no. Not because a, of the radiation,、mess. just、oh. because it's gross.、Ugh. Anyways, it says here next to see any negative effects, you would have to consume an enormous amount. I.e., your body can handle it. You eat a little bit of potassium; it's actually good for you, even though it's also radioactive. Yeah, if you wanted to get hurt by potassium, 
you would have to consume an enormous amount, a huge amount before the radiation from that potassium hurt you. And yes, here we have the adjective enormous to talk about. If something is enormous, it's huge, it's gigantic, it's very large in size or quantity. For example, the Watsons live in an, enor in an enormous home. They live in a mansion, a really super big house. Wow. Lucky for them. Mm. But yes, if you do want to kill someone with bananas or the radiation in bananas, it will take a very long time. It says take bananas, for example. You would experience radiation poisoning only after eating 500,000 of them. Which would be impossible. Which would be you impossible. You could 500,000 It would bananas. take years and you'd probably die of malnutrition because you're only eating bananas. It might be easier to drop a crate of bananas that on would your be head. Faster, that yes. might kill you yeah, more quickly. That would be faster. Anyways, folks, with that, it's time for us to take a break, but don't go away. We'll be right back after this. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。我们在第一天的课文读到，绝大多数的辐射对人类是无害的，而且我们日常生活中经常会接触到辐射，有时候啊是在令人想不到的地方哦。像其中一个常见的辐射源就是我们所吃的食物，尤其是含有放射性元素钾的东西，像香蕉、红萝卜。马铃薯等等，这些都是。可是这不代表你必须戒掉这些食物。事实上，你必须吃非常非常大量，你才会看到负面影响。那以香蕉来说，你要吃掉五十万根香蕉之后才会辐射中毒。在这之前，你可能会先撑死，或者是营养不良而死吧。刚刚老师还开玩笑说，你被一箱香蕉砸到头，这样还比较容易挂掉哎。那老师有提到。Malnutrition 这个字表示营养不良，那它是拼作 M A L N U T R I T I O N。Malnutrition 还有 crate 这个字 C R A T E 这个字它可以表示这个装货箱或是那种板条箱。A crate of bananas 就可以用来指一箱的香蕉。好，那我们再来看课文的单字 enormous。Enormous， 它是形容词，形容广大的或是巨大的。那补充单字 potassium，potassium potassium 就是指钾，钾这种化学元素。接下课文中 ，Our surprisingly radioactive world. Some other unexpected objects that emit radiation are exit signs, fluorescent lighting, and smoke detectors. For these, humans have learned how to use the energy of radiation in helpful ways. Another positive application of this energy can be found in hospitals that employ X-rays and other forms of radiation to detect health problems in patients. Again, just like with bananas, the levels of radiation these items give off are not harmful to humans. Bananas, everyone,、mm. are radioactive. They emit radiation. Are they going to kill you? No. Okay, and get this: some other unexpected objects that emit radiation, or what you can call radioactive, are exit signs, fluorescent lighting, and smoke detectors. Really? There's radioactive material in exit signs, fluorescent lighting, those tubes that we use for light bulbs, and smoke detectors. I've also heard in your glowing watch. If you have one of those glowing watch faces, the the glowing paint that can be radioactive too. Fascinating. An exit sign is just a sign over a door, and it's showing you that that door is an exit or an exit, as some people would say. Either way you say it, this word is a noun, and it's a way out of a room or a building. The entrance is the way in. The exit is the way out. And of course, exit signs. Are often put up there in case there's a fire or a power failure. They light up to show people the way out of the room or the building. For example, if there's an emergency, please use this exit. It will get you out into the street very, very quickly. Go so, out this way. Go out that way. So for these things that have a little bit of radiation in them that are around us, it says for these humans have learned how to use the energy of radiation. In helpful ways, so of course we can use radiation, nuclear material, in good, helpful ways. For example, for example, another positive 
application of this energy can be found in hospitals that employ x-rays and other forms of radiation to detect health problems in patients. Now, here we have the word application to talk about. Here, we're not talking about a form that you fill out to get into college. We're not talking about a program on your smartphone. No, no, no. Here, an application is a way that something has been used. By the way, this word application is a noun. For example, medicine is only one application of this plant. So there are many ways that you can use this plant, and it turns out that medicine is just one of these ways. Mm, one of the ways to use or to employ that plant. And yes, to employ in this case means to use. If you want to cut a piece of wood, you might want to employ a saw. If you want to call someone, you would definitely need to employ a telephone. We're not employing something like a boss employs workers, gives them a job, but it kind of has the same result. We're using something to do something, basically. So if we're talking about a machine or a tool that helps us do our work, we are employing that machine or tool. We're using it. Oliver employs several methods to help the plants in his garden grow. I'm assuming radiation is not one of those methods. Anyways, x-rays can be dangerous if you're exposed to them for long periods of time or when certain parts of your body are exposed to these x-rays for a long period of time. But you never spend that much time getting an x-ray in a hospital. Usually it takes seconds for them to get the picture that they need using x-rays. So again, just like with bananas, the levels of radiation these items and x-rays and stuff like that, the levels of radiation these items give off are not harmful to humans. They're not going to hurt you. Anyways, here we have the adjective harmful to talk about. If something is harmful, it could hurt you. It could injure you. It could make you sick. For example, smoking is very harmful to your body. Smoking can kill you. It's definitely harmful. Don't do it. Is it bad for you? It's bad. Okay. It's bad. All right, folks, with that, it's time for us to take a break, but don't go away. We'll be right back after this. 除了食物，还有其他一些意想不到的东西会释放辐射哦，像是出口的标志，还有荧光灯照明，还有烟雾探测器。文中的 smoke detector 就表示烟雾探测器。那我们单字 exit exit 它表示出口。那补充单字 emit emit 它表示排出或是散发。还有 fluorescent fluorescent。它是用来形容灯是荧光的。当我们说 fluorescent lighting， 就表示荧光灯照明或是日光灯照明。好，课文接着提到，人们学会以有用的方式来使用辐射能，像是使用 X 光，还有其他形式的辐射来检查病人健康问题。那这些都算是正面的应用。所以其实我们不用害怕辐射啦。刚刚说的那些物品所释放的辐射能，对人类是不会造成伤害的。那这边出现三个单字。Application, application， 它有很多意思哦。在课文里面，它是指应用或是运用。那 application 也可以指申请、申请书。它还可以用来指应用程式。你像你手机里面那些应用程式。当这个意思来解释的时候 ，application 常常简称为 app, a p p app， 但是不要把它念成 a p p。好，下一个单词 employ。Employ， 它是动词，表示使用、采用。那它也有雇用的意思。Harmful, harmful。这是用来形容有害的、有损健康的。接下课文中 ，Our surprisingly radioactive world. Although radiation may be inescapable, many of its sources we experience every day are completely safe. If you really want to cut down on your exposure to it, you might as well start by putting away your cell phone and turning off the television. They emit radiation too. Okay, everyone. Let's go ahead and wrap up our article on radiation. Although radiation may be inescapable, many of its sources we experience every day are completely safe. So don't freak out. We do live in a radioactive world for the most part. But is this radioactivity going to kill us? Is this radiation going to kill us? No, 
All right. No, well, you're going to be fine. There you go. But if you are worried, it says at the end there, if you really want to cut down on your exposure to it, you might as well start by putting away your cell phone and turning off the television. They emit radiation too. Ooh, suddenly I'm not so afraid of radiation because I love my cell phone, and I have to watch television. I assume a computer monitor is the same thing. So all of these emit radiation too, and I've never heard of anyone being killed by the radiation of their television. So、no. I guess we shouldn't worry about、no. it too much. But then again, I won't be going on holiday to Chernobyl anytime soon. Good plan. Probably a good plan. All right, that's it for our article. But we still have the what do you think question to ask and then answer, Mike.、Mm. What other everyday items do you know contain radiation?、Mm, very interesting. Well, I mentioned the glowing paint that is used in some watches and some clocks. That has radiation in it, and I think there was a story that a lot of the women who used to make that paint those things on, they had problems with radiation because they worked with this paint for many years. But again, if your watch or your clock has it on there, it's not going to be a problem. Just don't swallow it. There you have it. All right, folks, that's it for our lesson. It's in the books, and it's time for us to say bye bye. Take care. 虽然辐射不可避免，但是啊，我们每天所接触到到的这个许多辐射源都是十分安全的。如果你真的很想要减少接触辐射，那你还不如关掉电视，把你的手机收起来，因为手机跟电视也会发出辐射哦。我们最后来看补充单词 inescapable， inescapable 这个形容词形容不可避免的。那它是由字首 i n 表示否定，那再加上 escapable 表示可以避免，加在一起就是不可避免的。好了，那么以上是这个讲解，同学别走开，马上回来哦。大家好，我是 Hanny， 欢迎收看我们的文法单元。今天要介绍文法重点有四个，第一个是 cut down on 或是 cut back on 加上名词或动名词，第二个是。Might as well, 或是 may as well. 第三个是 put away. 第四个是 turn off. 好，我们先来学 cut down on 或是 cut back on 加上名词或动名词的用法。好，在中文里面啊，我们会说砍时间啊，砍预算啊等等的，砍就有减少的意思嘛。那英文也是用 cut 来表达削减、缩短的意思。Cut down 跟 cut back 这两个片语都可以表达减少、削减。那么后面可以直接接名词，或是接动名词。你也可以先搭配介系词 on， 再加上名词或动名词。例如 ，He's been trying to cut back on smoking. 他一直试着要减少抽烟，少抽烟是好事。The doctor advised him to cut down on sugar in his diet. 医生建议他日常饮食要减少糖分的摄取。好，接着我们来学 might as well 或是 may as well。假设你看到桌上的蛋糕已经剩一小片，都没有人要动的样子，这时候呢，就会有人发挥青菜味的功力，青菜味的功力，心里明明很想吃，可是表面上你还是要说啊，既然没有人要吃啊，不然我就把剩下的蛋糕吃掉好了啦，就好像不得不吃一样。好，那当我们要表达某件事它是无法避免的情况，或者是。你没有更好的理由不去做某事的时候，你就可以用 might as well 或者是 may as well 来表达说，不妨就怎么样，要不就怎么样怎么样。好，那要记得这个用法的后面是要接原形动词。那我们来造个例句：假设现在要开会了，所有的人都到齐，然后只剩下某个迟到大王还没有来，这时候你就可以说。We might as well get started without him. 我们不妨就直接开始，没有他也没关系啦。不过如果那个迟到大王是老板，你还是要等啊。<笑>好，接着我们来学片语动词 put away。它表示把什么什么收起来。它是用来表达把某个东西收起来，放回到原本的地方。像老师要宣布考试的时候，可能就会说要叫学生把笔记收起来。这时候就会说 put your notes away。好，那要特别注意的是 ，put away 它是可分的片语动词，也就是说，你可以用 put something away 或者是 put away something 来表达。可是如果你的受词是代名词，就必须把受词摆在 put 跟 away 之间，像是说 put it away 或是 put them away
。好，那我们要来造几个例句。这时候呢，要先妈妈上身。OK， put away your toys， 把你的玩具收好。Put away your comic books. 把你的漫画书收好。Put your clothes away. 把你的衣服收好。好，我没有当过妈妈，是这样子吗？好，最后我们来学 turn off. Turn off 就是指关掉，像是关掉什么什么电源。那相反的，我们用 turn on 来表达打开什么什么电源。同学们千万不要用 open 跟 close 来表达打开或是关掉电源哦。这个打开 open 的动作是这样，手去打开啊，或者把盖子打开，有手很大的动作。你平常在手机开机或者是电脑开机的时候，应该没有这么大的动作吧？好，我们来造个例句。Please turn off the lights when you leave the room. 离开房间时，请关灯。好，以上是今天重点整理，我们下次见喽，拜拜。表达我要放空英文实用句。嗨，大家好，欢迎收看。嗨，大家好，欢迎收看。就爱讲英文，我是 Kate。嗯、啊，好，我们已经开始了。哦， oh, 对不起，我刚才放空。我是 Steven， 今天呢就是要讲放空的英文的几句，到底有什么？第一个呢，我刚刚已经在外太空了，因为真的放空放到外太空了，超传神的，非常的。所以呢，我们在英文我们放空的时候，我们常会说 I spaced out just now。哦、oh, ，一定要 just now 吗？我不能说 I spaced out 就可以了。也可以 just now， 就是可能你刚刚在把我就是叫醒的时候，我在那一个瞬间，对我在跟你说我刚才 just now，、oh, 我刚才就是在放空。嗯、那原来如此。这个 spaced out 呢，就是像外太空，还是可能是空间。所以如果是当动词的时候，就一直说我就是放空。嗯，大家都知道在外太空的那种感觉，就是完全真空状态的感觉。你是常去外太空吗？<笑><笑><笑>看电影，看电影的时候，你就可以体会到啦，就是一个完全真空状态，然后很像戴耳塞的感觉啦。如果硬要体会的话，你上次讲真的很像你常去外太空哎、欸，<笑>我常,常戴耳塞但。但我懂你的意思，你意思就是说，就是那种感觉真的很对，就是在 space 里面。对 ，so I spaced out just now， 就是我刚刚放空了放空。嗯，好，第二个。第二个呢，如果今天你整天一直在电视前面，然后你根本都没有站起来，你就是可能上厕所都没有，吃东西都没有哦。那我们会说 ，She vegs out in front of her TV for hours。好长哦，所以主要在讲的就是 veg out 这个词嘛。对 ，vegs out。vegs 呢，呃，就是 vegetable， 可是这个词 vegetable 把它变成一个动词。嗯。是现在比较流行讲的一句话，而不是一个就是正统的英文词。嗯，所以说人家很像 vegetable 的意思吗？软烂，因为烂烂的。你有认识会跑还是会走路的素菜吗？那我也没有，沙发也不会走路啊。是啊，为什么不说沙发呢？<笑>因为它还是有生活的东西啊，<笑>对不对？沙发没有生活，好不好？<笑>但是蔬菜有生活，有是不是 vegetable 曾经有 life 过啊？ OK， 就意思说你今天就很像一个素菜，就是坐在那边完全不动，嗯，而且软软的。下一个呢，是我们现在在美国会常常用的一个，台湾也常有啊，这个也会常用吗？哦，我是说中文啦，中文。OK， 那我先叫英文的方式，呃，英文的词说，这个是 Let's binge watch our favorite show。嗯，今天一当你看到一个非常非常非常非常好看的一个影集，你会有点停不下来。而且现在，比如说有 Netflix 还是网络的，你可以不用等一个礼拜在电视上才看得到，嗯、你可以就是在网络上就是一直持续看，一直持续看。那如果一直持续看，不断的看的话，你可以说是 binge watch, watch.。对，哦 ，binge、就是、这个意思就是一直狂去做一些事。嗯、watch 这个词呢，也可以把它改掉。比如说我今天超爱吃一个东西。Binge eat、啊、也可以，对，所以就是 binge something， 就是狂去做这件事情，嗯、停不下来。好，下一个呢，就是跟刚刚我们说 veggies out 是还蛮贴近的。我们刚刚说就是当一个素菜，就是不动嘛，对不对？嗯、有另外一个词是叫 couch potato。哦，其实也是又又是一种食物啦，也是一种食物。可是因为 potato 就是看起来就是胖胖圆圆的、嗯，所以如果今天要形容一个人是非常懒的话，我们可以说他是 couch potato。So he is such a couch potato. He watched TV 
all day today。你看，又要拉长，又要拉长，又把 all 拉长了。Uh, okay. 另外一个要教的是 such a such a， 如果是形容一个东西，就是非常的。嗯、mm -hmm. ，对，好吧。He is such a couch potato. 对 ，OK。He is such a, such a couch. Potato. 所以你那个 such 也是要拉长，是不是 ？Such a 这个比较不是拉长，这是强调。Oh, He is such a couch potato. 这、okay. 是重音。所以我们有拉长跟重音的方式，可以去强调一个形容词。Mm -hmm. 嗯哼，好，今天呢就是讲到一个题目，就是常常放空的人会做的事情。所以这些英文呢，你可以去讲一个人放空了，还是自己放空了，就像现在，要继续放空了是吗？嗯，好的，那我们就自己进入 l i f e action 吧。Let's go hiking tomorrow. Did you hear what I said, or did you just want to veg out at home?、Oh, sorry, I spaced out just now. You look so tired. Did you sleep well last night? No, I binge watch all the seasons of Game of Thrones. I need to catch up on some sleep. You are such a couch potato. Hey, hey. D E. I spaced out just now. D E. She veges out in front of her TV for hours. Dsan, let's binge watch our favorite show. Dsu, he is such a couch potato. He watched TV all day today. <laughs> 